What's going on, party people? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe, and I'm right back at you with another real estate video. Today's video is being brought to you by WokeSource.com. It's powered by PropStream. Get your free trial. Check it out to get more leads than you can even process at WokeSource.com. The link's going to be in the description of this video. Now, uh, I'm about to call a real estate agent who is basically in the middle of the deal that we're trying to work on structuring a creative financing, seller financing deal on a duplex here in South St. Louis and Afton, uh, South County. Uh, I'm gonna call the real estate agent and see if we can work out any uh, remaining details, overcome any objections she's gonna raise and uh, see if we can make something happen here because the seller is on board, but she wants everything to go through her real estate agent. So we wanna make sure that we basically close all decision makers in this particular deal. So I'm gonna give her a call now and see if we can make it happen like a captain. Get this video a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share if you care. That's called Barb. Hello, this is Barb. Well, hello, Barb. This is Chris uh, Monroe. I was in contact with your seller on the property on Matilda. How are you today? Okay, but I am like, are you calling because of the offer that you made? Uh, I was actually just calling to see what other details need to be worked out so we can move the deal forward if everything's agreeable. I just wanted to reach well, out to you. Not, so. Yeah, she's not, agree she's not agreeable to anything on that you've proposed. Uh, that's not what she just said. She said just to make sure it goes through you. I just spoke to her. Well, she told me she wasn't in agreement. So I will call her right now and I'll call you back. Okay. Okay. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right. We're going to end that right there. So let's see what happens with this. Uh, even though the seller is in agreement and now they're saying they're not in agreement. You see how they do this uh, wishy-washy stuff when I could have basically just got them both on the phone from the very beginning and worked out all details with both people on the phone. Even though we don't really need the real estate agent for anything in this deal, uh, we want to make sure she's you know compensated for doing nothing and makes this all work out. But uh, as you see, the real estate agent is already causing a distraction and running interference. So let's see if we can uh, make something happen here. Uh, she says she's going to call the seller and work it out. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to work, but it should. So this is the overview. I don't know if you saw the last video I posted up. Um, it was basically a seller call. Uh, the lady is selling it for her mom. And basically, she wants to uh, just sell the property. And they was not able to sell it before because there was a tenant in the property. Um, the tenant is not paying, so he's basically squatting, and so uh, they want to get him evicted, but they cannot do that until after the holidays because the sheriff here in St. Louis County does not want to be a Scrooge and kick him out during Christmas time. So that's where we're at right now. Um, that was the main thing that was stopping them from selling it before in their mind. They were looking to get $250,000, two hundred and fifty for this duplex um, where the tenant is going to move out and then the other side, I think it needs a little bit of updating but from the pictures I saw it did not look like it needed anything uh, you know, crazy, ridiculous, etc. So this is, is a doable deal. This property is free and clear. I sent over a um, written offer via email to her and CC the copy to the real estate agent and uh, they looked it over and as you see that agent is saying oh no she's not agreeable to anything and I'm like um I just spoke to her what's up with that even though it was the other day but still I spoke to the seller twice but I have not spoke to the agent that was my first contact with this real estate agent and I even told the seller when I was on the phone with her that um, basically uh, real estate agents run interference on these types of deals all the time. So not to say, you know, anything bad about the agent, but as you can tell, she already has a pretty bad attitude and doesn't want to talk about anything at all. Basically was trying to jump off the phone with me, uh, like zero respect. 
She don't know who she's talking to though. She's dealing with a killer. And this is why I prefer to go direct to seller. I don't mind working with real estate agents. I don't mind working with wholesalers. I don't mind working with other professionals in the business. But if they don't understand all of the strategies we do, if they don't understand how things are made up and are not even open to having the conversation at all, how are you able to explain anything to anybody or have any conversation with anybody that does not want to receive the information you are putting out? They are not receiving the words that you are putting out of your mouth. So let me see something here. Let me see if uh, she called her real quick. I'm going to actually text the seller and let her know. Probably should have done that already, but uh, give me a second here. What's this lady's name? I forgot her name. Hold on, it's on my uh, CRM or Customer Relationship Manager. Uh, what was this lady's name? Megan. Megan the Stallion. But it wasn't really Megan the Stallion. It was just Megan. Let me text Megan. She is calling you now. So we're gonna see how this goes. So hopefully um, this doesn't purely just kill the deal. I mean, um, I was trying to you know, be respectful and not just say, we really don't need you for this deal to be honest, but whatever. And I would think that the seller probably would agree to, oh no, that deal's no good if the agent says, oh no, that deal's no good. Because there's another thing too, another factor in all of this. When I was speaking to the seller in regards to this property, she said that, uh, you know, if the real estate agent brings a buyer, she gets 5%. But if her, the seller, Megan, if she brings a buyer, she gets two or two and a half percent. She wasn't sure which one, but basically it's half price if Megan brings her own seller, which is me, or her own buyer, which is me. We're trying to buy. They're trying to try, we're trying to buy. So uh, we're gonna see what that's about and uh, give it a few moments here. And uh, I'll probably just call Megan in a minute and say, yeah, what's going on, Megan? She said, you're not ready to play ball. What's the deal? Do we got to get on a three-way call? Do we got to make it happen? So we'll see how that goes. I'm trying to give her a few seconds here. So um, if these videos actually do help you out, let me know by posting in the comments. I'll keep them coming. These live seller calls, live real estate agent calls, post in the comments below. Do these help you at all? Are you getting any takeaways? Are you learning some tactics, techniques, some wordplay, some uh, zingers you can zing in there on them or whatever to make them want to do business with you? You know, we're not really trying to force somebody to do anything. We're just presenting a solution to their problem. And so the seller is ready to go. Uh, the agent says the seller is not ready to go. Can we get on a three-way call? What's the hold up here? That's really usually the, the number one way to solve these problems. A three-way call. So let me give her a few more minutes and see what happens with that. And uh, we'll go right there with that. So let me see here. Wow. All right, so we've given it about a good um, 15 minutes. So I'm gonna try to call Megan, the seller, and see if she can do us any better. Or is she gonna come clean and say, we don't wanna do the deal or whatever. You know, it's tell me the objection. Don't play like you wanna do a deal and then don't. So let's see what Megan has to say. Hello. Hey, Megan, this is Chris. How are you today? Hi, I'm good. Pretty good. Yeah, I just uh, spoke to Barb briefly. Um, I was just trying to see if there is a way we can get on either a three-way call or something so we can iron out all the details so we can move forward. Oh, I think she's going to call you back. Yeah, she was looking over the, um, like, the interest and down payment and all that aspect of it, and she's going to get... Um, 
the proposal that she thinks would be best together. Oh, okay. What is? Because I actually didn't put any interest or any down payment or anything on there, so we haven't even discussed any of it. Right. Yeah, and that's that's the part she's going to be looking over. So, um, yeah, no, she. I'm sure she'll be calling you back once she gets that figured out. Okay. So. What kind of uh? What were you all looking to get? Um. Well, she. We need to talk to her. Really, <laughs> she's a market expert and. Um, She's going to go more for like what current market value is, and she's more in tune with all that than I am. So, and you that's mean why I'm deferring all that to her? And you mean current market value as far as what the price, like interest, like yeah, interest rates and all that. Oh, okay. So, is it better to just what? Um, is there is there a way we can get on a call and get all this discussed? And even if it's tomorrow or something, I don't know. I mean, maybe not today if, if that's not a good day. But I just want to get all the, you know, because when I go back and forth, it's kind of like, you know, I want to make sure everything's ironed out, makes sense to everybody, everybody's in agreement, and move forward if we can. And if not, no harm, no foul. Right. She, well, she's really the one um, to deal with. Not because anything that you tell me, I'm just going to turn around and have to ask her because I. I am dumb as dirt when it comes to real estate and the market and loans and all of that. So she's the one really to deal with. Okay. Well, I don't mind dealing with her, but just to be honest with you, I mean, we do these deals all the time and we don't even, normally we don't even use real estate agents because it's really not really necessary, but I understand you have an agreement with her and you want to work with her. That's fine. We don't have a problem with it, but we don't, like I told you in the first call, a lot of times they run interference and stop the whole deal and the deal doesn't go through simply because of, you know, a lot of back and forth when we can just get it all ironed out pretty easily and make the deal go through if it's supposed to go through. If not, no harm, no foul. I just don't want to, you know, stretch it out and you know because it's really your all's decision the agent is there to facilitate your wishes whatever you want that's what they're there to do they're not there to you know tell you this is you know whatever you know what i mean because i know a lot of people put a lot of pressure on an agent to think for them but it's really you all's decision they're just supposed to make sure everything's legal everything's safe you're protected which we can make sure of all of that that's not a problem i just want to make sure that you know we do uh, handle any questions concerns from the agent from you whoever and make sure everybody's happy at the end that's our main goal okay yeah and barb what she's doing is she's just looking out for my best interest too since i don't know i'm not in tune with the market and what's going on so yeah she's um i've asked her you know help me make sure i'm getting a good deal because i wouldn't know a, a good deal versus a bad deal if it hit me in the face you know? oh wow <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah she's helping me out in in that area so. and so what would be really a good deal in your eyes what is like the the definition of a good deal i mean what, what would you think yeah. it would oh i i have no idea honestly i i have never dealt with real estate i my husbands have always done that and my parents have done it i know it i have zero zero experience oh wow in this realm of life whatsoever so that's why i hired a real estate agent i'm letting her handle it for me yeah that, and that makes sense it's my mother's property it's not even my property you know so right I'm, I'm just like i'm trying to bow out of it and just let barb handle it for me right make but sure you, that we get the best deal but you would have to sign off on everything for mom correct Right. Right. So yeah, that's the whole thing. I mean, that's as long as you're happy with it, as long as we make sure the real estate agent is happy and she's compensated. Like I said, we don't really even need her for anything. You can use her. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. But we, we typically, that money can go in your pocket. Typically is what I usually tell people. We just pay you the same money we was going to give them. You know what I mean? Which I don't mind doing it either way. It doesn't matter really to me. I just want to make sure that it doesn't stop the deal. You know what I mean? Make the whole thing stop in the name of, you know, just delaying for no reason. You know, right? Yeah, no, I I trust Barb. She yeah. helped me sell three properties so far. This is number four. Oh wow! Congratulations. We're, we're working on dealing, so she's done a great job for me so far. So I have no doubt, you know, she'll come through on this one too. So. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Any others after this one, or just the last one? Uh, no, we've got one more after this one. Oh, okay. So. Well, you, so you didn't tell me about that one. We could buy them both. <laughs> Right, yeah. Well, that one, it's in um, St. Anne, Missouri. It's on Old St. Charles Road. 
Is that a rental property too, or is it empty already? Yes. Yeah, okay. no, it's a rental property also. Yeah, because I actually live closer to that one. I live in a Hazelwood, Florida area, so I'm not too far from there. Oh. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, Barb, see, I don't even know the address off the top of my head. But, um, yeah, whenever Barb calls you back, um, you can ask her what the address is on that if you want to start the research on that one. Sure will, 100%. Other than that, uh, I'll just reach back out to Barb um, later on, give her a little time to work on it or whatever she's doing. Is that what she said? She needs some time or? Yeah, she said she needs some time to read through it. Okay, no problem. And then uh, when should I follow back up? Okay, um, oh, I didn't, mm, I can't speak to her. I don't know. I'd give her this afternoon and maybe tomorrow. tomorrow okay. Would be fine. Well, before I let you go, any other questions for me? Uh, no. No, I, I have nothing else in mind. <laughs> okay, no problem. I'll let you get back to your day. Thanks for taking my call. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Right. Uh, I wouldn't know a good deal if it hit me in the face. Let's call Barb back right quick. Let's see what Barb got to say. Because I think she's going to play some more games. I ain't going to be chasing people all day now. What do you think about this video so far? Give this video a thumbs up. Give it a like. Give it a share. Who else giving you these behind the scene videos live talking to these people? Who doing that? Who doing that out here? Who out there doing that? Talking to sellers, talking to agents, giving everybody that work. So let's see if we can get Miss Barb back on the phone right quick. Even though she's gonna be full of mess. I don't wanna stretch this out all day either. I got other stuff to do. Well, how did we know they weren't going to answer? I'll give her a couple more minutes just in case she called right back. But other than that, I think I want to wrap this video up just to give you some of the back end on how you have to will and deal and make things happen and talk to people and answer questions and ask questions, really ask the right questions. If you notice, I made sure to ask several questions of the seller, even though she's trying to put it off on everybody else. And we find out she got another property they want to sell, but I know Barb is eating good. She even sold four other deals and three other deals, and now this another one, and then she got another one. So on Old St. Charles, so that's out here in St. Anne and a little bit closer to where I'm at in North County. So uh, I guess we'll go from there. If Barb calls back in a second, we'll answer it. Other than that, if you have any questions about this deal or a deal you're working on, you can definitely hit me up. Uh, my my. Uh, website is going to be in the description below wokerealestate.com if you're looking for the contracts to do wholesale deals if you're looking for the paperwork or the contracts to do creative deals like this whether it's subject to seller financing um you can get the actual agreements good in all 50 states um if you're looking for like addendums to like cya cover your assets when you're doing these deals disclosures all of that stuff and more you can find at wokerealestate.com, W-O-K-E, wokerealestate.com. Make sure you check that out. And uh, I'm going to- One hour later. Hello, and thanks for calling. Chris? This is Chris. This is Barb. Getting back hey, to you regarding Matilda. Yeah, yeah, how are you? Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, she's not interested in the way either one of those offers were written and accepting them as you wrote them. She will accept the $250,000, but that's with uh, a 10-year term, uh, amortized over 10 years, 8% interest. So if that's what you're wanting to do, I mean, but not the way you wrote it with that $645 payment or something like that over 30, 30 years and no interest. Yeah, we can, we can, yeah, we can, we can, we can, we can get all this stuff straightened out. That's not a problem. I just had to put something on paper so we can start somewhere. You know what I mean? Cause I didn't want to just send a blank thing. Cause she said she didn't know exactly what she would take as far as, you know, uh, payments and things like that. So I just put something in there for now, even though we can change it. That's not a problem. 
Okay, well, there's going to have to be at least 20% down, like I said, and 8% oh, so I need interest. To be, so 20% down. Yes. And, and 8%, 8 interest. 8 interest, and then 10-year amortization, and a 10-year, and, you know, 10 years for both the amortization and the term. The term would be 10 years. Amortized over 10 years also. And what is the purpose for the 20% down? I'm just curious. Mm -hmm. What is the purpose for 20% down? Yeah. What What is the reason for that? What's that? What is the reason for 20% down? She's not going to sell it without 20% down. That's why. I mean, oh, what I was just mean, asking what is the that... reason? Yeah, I was just asking, well, how did you come up to that number? Because we bought houses, you know, 5%, 10%. Yeah. We've even paid 20% down. That's not a problem. I'm just trying to figure out where did you come up with that number from. Well, that's a typical. That's, that's somewhat typical. And that's what she wants on this property. Okay. And then the interest rate, you said... Uh, Eight percent. Eight percent. Uh huh. So we might as well just go get a loan then, basically, right? right? Right. So there really is no benefit to doing a seller finance deal if it's going to be exactly what the market is. Uh mm -hmm. Is there any uh, any wiggle room in any of that? Because that's kind of strict. You know what I mean? That's kind of just like a loan going to the bank. Right. Uh, I can talk to her about it, but. Uh... I don't think so. Yeah, I would be more than happy okay. to, you know, try to iron out the details and make it beneficial. You okay. know, we can move things around and make it make sense for her and everything. I just want to make sure that we, you know, get everything settled and everybody's happy with everything. Okay. Well, then, you know, but contact me. So uh, she's gonna, she's deferring to me on this. So yeah, I, yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, that's what she just told her me. Calling is not the right way th way to go about this either. You know, you yeah, we to come through me. Yeah, we didn't even know that the house was listed because it was it didn't show it was listed online, so we didn't even know it was listed well, at all. Well, it's been so withdrawn. Only... I explained that to you. It has been withdrawn until we get the tenant worked out. Oh, okay. Still, not to me. I, that that wasn't to me. That probably was. Not... Yeah, that was probably to somebody else. That wasn't to me because I only talked to you today for the first time, and we only talked for well, ten aren't seconds. Aren't you the so one I didn't... that I showed? Aren't you the one I showed it to? No. No, you didn't show me the property. Oh, you might have showed it to somebody I'm else. Sorry. Yeah. I'm <laughs> yeah, sorry. no problem. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you know, they no. all sound the same, don't they? <laughs> yes. Yeah, and, and she said something about uh, there's another house you're going to be listing or something soon to Old St. Charles or something like that. Yeah, but we're not. Yeah, what's we, the, we cannot do not anything ready for that about one. that one yet. No, and that's like this one either. So this is the first time you've called. You haven't sent in an offer. Yeah, yeah, I did send you an email offer, but I did not. You did not show me the property. No. Oh shoot. Okay. Listen, I just had my mother's funeral yesterday. Oh wow! I'm sorry last, about that. My last two weeks have been brutal, to say the least. So wow. some things in my mind are somewhat confused, and this is one of them. I absolutely yeah. thought you were the person I showed it to, but obviously not. But you are the one who made yeah. this offer, so you haven't. Yeah, we we do want to buy. I saw some pictures online. We would like to buy it. You know, we just want to figure out a way to make sense. So you know, make sure everybody's compensated and everything, like your commissions and everything as well. So that's the only thing we want to make sure everything was you know made sense. Yeah, are you a group or are you a um, a, a single individual? I can't remember. I don't. I'm on my way to show a house uh, right now. No problem. Yeah, my name is Chris with St. Louis Cash Buyers. I do work with a group of people oh, who buy houses okay. all over St. Louis. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't think anybody can do real estate by themselves. It's almost impossible, right? <laughs> well, yeah, possibly. <laughs> so do you have any other investment properties or any houses that are uh, either in that area or in North County that are coming up for something like that that we would be interested in, you think? No. I, not right now. I do have some coming up, but they're not ready right now. Okay. Oh, okay. But I can. Yeah. I've got your name and phone number now, and I can get in touch with you. Um, yeah, that would be I great because I don't want to just buy one house. I want to buy a bunch from you, especially in 2024. Okay. Okay. So that's what I would rather well, do. You know. So yeah. 
Yeah. So, so, so um, yeah, but no, the, the, the terms of the ones you sent to us are not even, they're not, I mean, they're not, they're not feasible at all. Okay. So, yeah, that's not a problem. I did, and it's better to have a conversation about it anyway. I don't even like sending out offers like that because people say, you know, some agents say that, oh, just send an offer. And I'm like, oh, you want me to just make up something? I'd rather have a conversation, see where you want to be at, and it can make sense so, you know, it's not a waste of time for anybody. You know what I mean? I really want to buy it. You know, a lot of people kick tires and do all of this stuff. We actually do business. So we're really trying to find a way to structure a deal, whether we buy cash or do a, a creative deal. So it's usually more beneficial to a creative deal, a higher purchase price. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. let me, um, yeah. Let me talk to her. So I'll, I, I'm on my way to show a house and I'm, and I've still got out of town company here from my mom's funeral. So yeah, take care I'll of that. And I'll just check back with you in a couple of days. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine. That's good. That's good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and I hope everything okay. is okay. And I, I'm sorry for your loss. Thanks. Okay. All right. Have a good day. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and get up off this thing and do some more woke stuff. Don't forget to follow me on all social media outlets at Chris Monroe STL. That's Snapchat, that's Twitter, that's Instagram, that's Facebook, that's YouTube, that's TikTok, and Clubhouse, and Fanbase, and X. We on all the sites. You name it. Oh, yeah, I just started a Rumble account as well, too. Haven't put any videos on it yet, but rumble.com, I'll be on there as well. I need to get on Patreon, too. I see people getting paid on Patreon, but that's a whole other story. Nevertheless, Chris Monroe STL, that's the name if you want to play the game. I will catch you on the next one. So do what you do, be who you be, and I'll see you before you see me. Find more leads than you can even process. That's multiple listing service. That's the MLS for your real estate agents. Absentee owner information. Find the cash buyers and flippers in any market nationwide. Pull a pre-foreclosure list. And don't forget, you got to find those comps. Get nationwide access with multiple filters powered by PropStream at WokeSource.com. Get your seven-day free trial today. WokeSource.com. That's WokeSource.com. You may have heard the saying, the fortunes are in the follow-up. Now there's a brand new system that is great to help you cold call, text message, drop voicemails, and so much more, all automated. You don't have to remember anything, just set it and forget it. All you have to do is speak to people. Check it out, WokeReply.com. It's a multi-touch marketing campaign where you can schedule to send text, voicemail, email, and even live calls all on autopilot. Check it out today, WokeReply.com. That's WokeReply.com. Hey, Chris, is that you?